the Mana Cannon really that powerful? Yes. It was originally developed to destroy the Tower of Salvation. I doubt there is any weapon more powerful. In our last journey, we used it to stop the giant tree when it threatened to destroy the world. It was Sheena's responsibility to fire the cannon. The giant tree that killed my mother was stopped by the Mana Cannon. Then the cannon must be immensely powerful. I mean, it toppled a tree that covered the entire world. Yes. If such a weapon fell into the wrong hands, it could easily wipe out a town or two. We'll never let something like that happen. Never. Who goes there? Orochi, it's been a while. Prisea, who do you have with you? Shina asked me to bring them to Mizuho. You spoke with the chief. Is she all right? Well, you see... Wait, we should discuss this at Elder Igaguri's place. We have other visitors who might like to hear. Visitors? Yes, Rain and Genus are here. Really? Uh, yes. You are acquainted with Rain? They apparently traveled with her before. I see. Anyway, you can give us the full story at the Elder's house. I'll see you there. This town has a different air about it than the others we have visited. That is probably true. While it is located in Teta'ala, the people living here have their own unique culture. So this is Sheena's hometown. I hope she's all right. I'm sure she is. Though she encountered many dangers on our previous journey, she always landed on her feet. We are all very lucky. It is the same luck that brought us together, so I'm confident things will work out. Thanks for saying that. It's odd. You're younger than me, but you feel like an older sister. Older sister? You can call me sister anytime you like. Just as we thought, it's happening in other cities as well. Rain! Genus! Persea? And Emil and Marta, too! What are you doing here? I brought these two with me from Altamira at Sheena's request. Altamira? Why were you in Altamira? Dreadful things have happened, you see. So that's what happened. You three were wise to come here. It's just as Magnar said. The Vanguard is instigating violent uprisings in cities around the world. Death to all Tetha Allens! For the pride of Silverant! Rise up against Tetha Alla! Long live the Silverant Dynasty! The political situation was already unstable after the world unification. The Vanguard is fanning the flames of the populace's dissatisfaction with the Tetha Allens and the Church of Martell. And there's no way to stop the revolts. What about Tetha Alla's royal army? I'm sure they have their hands full with just the Tetha Allen cities. And if the Martell Knights try to put down the riots, it will only increase the intensity of the Vanguard's opposition. It doesn't help that there's still no unified government in Silverant. This isn't the sort of thing that a City Watch could handle by itself. And they are planning on using a Mana Cannon. If they get that capability, not even the Royal Army could stand against them. Let's report all of this to Elder Igaguri. If the Vanguard needs Ratatosk's core, then we still have a chance. Right! <sighs> 
So, the enemy plans to use a mana cannon to attack a Tetha Alan city. If it comes to that, I have no doubt that the target would be Mel Tokyo. If their mana cannon is as powerful as the one Sheena used, it could easily blow away an entire city. Once they get their hands on Ratatosk's core, it's all over. Exactly. So we need to concentrate on Altamira and not the revolts in other cities. The Vanguard commander is stationed there right now. If a group as inexperienced as the Vanguard loses its leader, the rest of the organization will likely fall apart. If I understand you correctly, you're suggesting that we go after the Vanguard's commander. But Rain, the Vanguard's commander is Marta's father. I'm not saying that we have to kill him. Even if we captured him alive, after all of the things he's done, he may be executed. Marta. I understand. My father has done terrible things. Please, don't worry about me. Then we should send our units into Altamira as soon as possible. Count me in. Me too. I would also like to help. I'm sure I could be of service. Uh, I... Emil, you stay here and protect Marta. Why? As long as Ratatosk's core is safe, the worst-case scenario will not happen, so we must keep it that way. We cannot afford any delays. Make the necessary preparations immediately. All right, let's go and get ready. we're doing the right thing? What do you mean? They'll capture Daddy, then they'll dismantle the Vanguard. Then we can wake up Ratatosk. Are you really okay with that? Well, what other way is there? You don't want to try talking with your father? Daddy won't listen to what I have to say. You heard him. He just won't listen. Then why did you go to the trouble of running away from the Vanguard? What? You said that you could never forgive your father's way of doing things. You were a member of the Vanguard yourself, and yet you're letting others do the most important work for you. You're okay with that? Then are you saying I should go fight my own father? No, I'm saying you should try talking with him. Just because it didn't work the first couple of times doesn't mean there's no hope at all. Root's your father. If someone else captures him, then that's it. That's the end. Are you really going to be okay with that? He's still your father. <sighs> Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Courage is what helped me make true friends. That's why I'm giving my courage to you. Let's go to Altamira. Regal's there and Sheena as well. They both saved us when we needed them. And you need to talk to your father. Emil! The Vanguard is attacking! Everyone's at the village entrance right now, holding them back. You have to get out of here! Guri's house. Look out! I won't let you into this village! Who 
Who's next? They were nothing! There's no end to this! <laughs> they were after you like this the first time we met. You remember? And you've been running ever since. You were running because you thought once you wake up Ratatos, the Vanguard won't be able to do anything. That's... But Brute has Solemn's core. You won't be able to wake up Ratatosk if you keep running from Brute. <sighs> That's settled. You did it! No, I'll give you the kiss I promised. What promise? It looks like the enemy withdrew for now. Are you still gonna keep running? Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. I want to see Daddy one more time. Are you serious? The Vanguard is after Ratatosk's core, remember? Yes, I know. But it's just... This whole time, I haven't done anything but run away. But you've been trying to wake up Ratatosk. That was just a roundabout way of stalling the Vanguard. I was afraid to face my father. He had changed, so I just ran away from him. You're not afraid anymore? I'm afraid, but Emil shared his courage with me. Emil, and the other Emil too. Thank you. My other self said something to you? Yes, he did. Please, let me go to Altamira. Well, either way, the Vanguard knows that Marta's here. I don't really see a problem with her accompanying you. I think so too. We can protect her. Rain, what do you think? Oh, why would I be against it? Then it's okay. To tell the truth, I'd prefer to leave you behind. Huh? Never mind. Marta, you can come with us. Thank you. Then it's settled. I'll leave Marta with you, and we can meet up later in front of Altamira. Looks like Orochi isn't here yet. I'm right here. <gasps> you scared me! Yes, I was quite startled. 
You don't look very startled. That's our Perseia. Always so cool and calm. No, I told you. He startled me. This conversation is giving me a headache. Let's just drop it. Thank you, Orochi. So what's the situation like in Altamira? It appears the Vanguard established their headquarters in Lesoreno Company Building Number 2. Building Number 2? It was built near Altamira's amusement park. If we attract any attention, the Vanguard will have a welcome party all ready and waiting for us at their headquarters. Then what should we do? Regal told me there's a tunnel underneath the hotel for employee use. If we can find that, it should take us right in front of building number two. You think of everything, Prisea. You're quite composed for your age. We'll seal off building number two so they can't call reinforcements. We'll take care of the Vanguard soldiers in the city. We'll leave infiltrating their headquarters to you. That's fine. The plan goes into effect at midnight tonight. Don't do anything that might arouse suspicion before then. All right, we should get going as well. Wow, they've got this place wrapped up tight. There's no way we'll be able to get in before midnight. What should we do? Starting a fight will get everyone's attention. We just need to get them out of the way, correct? Paw pad. It's Tenebrae. If you're going to call me something ridiculous like Doggy or Paw Pad, I prefer you just called me Tenebi. Chill out, Tenebrae. What are you planning on doing? I'm planning on doing this. Nobody can resist the sight of a beautiful woman. Tenebrae, you can transform into anything you want? Yes, because I'm a centurion. Now then, watch a master at work. It looks like everything worked out beautifully. <laughs> How long are you planning to stay like that? Why, Emil, honey, don't you like it? Wow, well, that's a switch. Maybe changing his shape changes his personality as well. I miss Paw Pad. Anyway, let's wait here until dark. Our operation begins at midnight. Which way is it to the underground tunnel? Regal said all you have to do is get in the elevator and press the button marked for employees. Then let's relax until midnight. <laughs> hey, Tenebrae, the lady you turned into, is that what Centurions consider to be beautiful? Yes. We Centurions have a highly refined aesthetic sense. Well, what about Rain? Truly, a vision of beauty. My. And Prisea? Very lovely indeed. How nice. Okay, what about me? Why, you are beautiful as well, Lady Marta. So then, which of us is the most beautiful of all? I believe that would have to be me. <sighs> you really love yourself, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 